all bowed except for Iblis. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Iblis, why have you not done what I have commanded you to do? Why haven't you bowed to Adam when I told you to bow? By the way, this sajda was not of worship. It wasn't a sajda of ibadah. It was a sajda of respect, of ihtiram. Iblis said, no. He said, I'm better than him. I'm better than him. You created me from fire and you made him from clay. The first instance of racism ever to have existed on this earth. Iblis said, I'm better than him. Can you imagine this? We read this story like it's, like it's folk tales. Imagine disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly to his face, Jalla wa ala. Shaitan is literally in the presence of God and he says no. It's a whole different ballgame when your parents say clean your room. Or your boss says come into work a little bit early. It's a whole, saying no to them is a whole different ballgame than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying bow. And you say no. That takes a lot of arrogance to say no to your creator. And so shaitan says, no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then after a conversation says, you are cursed, you are al rajim you are shaitan al rajim Interesting thing happens next. He makes a request. What do we call a request in Arabic language? When someone makes a request to Allah, we call that a dua, right? He makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, make me amongst the mundirin. Give me life until the day of resurrection. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, qala innaka min al mundirin. You get what you want. Some of us feel sometimes like we commit too many mistakes. We make too many sins. There's no way Allah will answer our dua. But look at shaitan. He directly disobeyed Allah and then instantly after, what did he do? He asked Allah for, subhanahu wa ta'ala for something. And what did Allah do? Allah granted his dua and said, إِنَّ كَمِلَ mundarin. No one is too far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask for anything. No one. If shaitan can do it, you can do it and Allah will answer your dua. And then shaitan after this, after he gets what he wants, he makes a challenge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, وَلَا تَجِدُوا أَكْثَرُهُمْ شَاكِرِينَ Oh Allah, you will not find a lot of them will be grateful to you. This is the method by which shaitan is going to attack us. He already laid it out for us. He told us that his goal is to make us not grateful. His goal is to make us reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings by not being grateful to him. If I asked anyone in this room, what is the worst sin a human being can commit? The answer everyone would give would, would be shirk. Everyone would say that. Shirk, of course. Giving anything else, the same level as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by the way, when I say shirk, everyone instantly thinks of rocks and stones and animals and worshipping different... You don't have to worship a rock or a stone to commit shirk. There are other kinds of idols, right? Money can be an idol. Video games can be an idol. Cars can be an idol. American idol, right? There are a lot of different idols that we can sacrifice our relationship with Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from ever thinking this for their sake.